Trace program initiated. Access granted. Initiated. Access granted. Ah! <laughs> 
There is no way he slipped past us. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. Initiated. Access denied. Jensen, I'm getting worried. Should I be calling every police station in town looking for you? That's not necessary. I'll be in soon. Good, because we've got work to do. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Jensen, thank God. I'm down in the dungeon, man. You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red.
Initiated. Access denied. Anomaly detected. Trace probe access granted. Access 
denied. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down, 
the day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sadie fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. What exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I got to get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you, or not? Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Aww, oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikolatze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now... Are we gonna do this procedure, or what? Alright. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You even still move, huh? Where, where did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. You need no freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carla? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well... I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? Major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, 
You want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just got to make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay, so I'm not always going to be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. I thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The sh I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. They help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraf installed all my augs. If there's something inside me I don't know about, he's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... they look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoriological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you'll need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less augs, not more. What exactly makes these augs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what. Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's, it's beautiful, is what it is. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Seraph job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Seraph's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. It was a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. 
This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise. I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted. By Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. It's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Granted. Denied. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Adam, what's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan Og? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. 
Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview, and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead. Why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Hand it over. You better hope all your paperwork is in order, Hanser. An unauthorized clank in the city could mean 
big trouble for you. We've got enough trouble as it is. Is that right? One second. Centro, confirm a BH-847. You must have some kind of super weapon under the hood. What I have is a job to do. Oh, and no not time let to me waste. keep you then. Get moving! Telling you, Hanover, people in all country are more than genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely, that is what. Listen. Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vano. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. Who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create uh, problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, and no doubt are other things about me, I think you owe me the same courtesy. I'm with Interpol. But I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Prague. Kohler must want this item very much to send someone like you. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, he cannot have the calibrator, and you can't either. Dealing with Oggs is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. I thought when it came to business, the Duvalli organization preferred to keep its options open. Kohler is a friend. He has certain skills that make him valuable to me. And I, too, like to keep my options open. What? Do you even know what you're trying to say? Still... You have managed to intrigue me, so tell me. 
How far are you willing to go to help your friend, Color? I find when confronted by difficult problems, it's always best to get the opinion of someone with wisdom and experience. Someone like you. Here's my advice, then. If somebody asks you a question, answer it! Oh, you're wasting my time. Oh, no. Mr. Botkovelli would like you to leave now. Come here. I think I saw something. Go. If it's probably not... Telling me you don't think they should all be moved there? No. Hand it over. You better hope all your paperwork is in order, Hanzer. An unauthorized clank in the city could mean big trouble for you. We've got enough trouble as it is. Is that right? One second. Central, confirm a BH847. You must have some kind of super weapon under the hood. What I have is a job to do. Well, do and not no let me waste. keep you there. Get moving. Granted.
access granted. Nice gear you've got here. All high-end. And you look like you know high-end. Which biotech did your job? Not Isole. They don't come in black. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. As one enthusiast to another, you can tell me. Gonna have to disappoint you. Maybe you can make it up to me. You look like the kind of man who might have access to breach software. That stuff's illegal. Come on, man, don't play around. You know why it's illegal. You know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets. But we will, and you can help us. Be part of the revolution. Anyway, just think about it. All the details are in the computer. Want to have a look? To sell or to buy? Sure. Great. Go ahead. That's awesome. You came to Prague to browse? Nothing for me. So long, Mr. Mirror Shades. These are the greatest. Don't bother me.
telling me you don't think they should all be moved there? No. Hand it over. You better hope all your paperwork is in order, Hanzer. An unauthorized clank in the city could mean big trouble for you. Got enough trouble as it is. Is that right? One second. Central, confirm a BH847. You must have some kind of super weapon under the hood. What I have is a job to do. Well, and do no not time let to me waste. keep you there. Get moving, asshole. I'm always telling you, Hano, people in all country are more than genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely, that is what... Listen. Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Hano. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. Who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create uh, problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, no doubt are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I think the best way to describe me is a troubleshooter. And a friend of Vaclav Kohler. He tells me you have a shipment for him. So I figured I'd do him a favor and pick it up. Look, Vato. The man who still believes in dealing honestly. But only up to a point. Kohler must have told you that I refused to give him the calibrator. You know, dealing with hogs these days is bad business. How desperate Kohler must be to send someone like you. And the answer is still no. I'm not here to discuss the politics of business deals. I just want the calibrator. For the third time. No. Vano. Mr. Botkovelli would like you to leave now. Your head will earn me a bone! 
Initiated. Access granted. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Also known as the Human Restoration Act, this legislation, if passed, calls for the removal and downgrading of all overly powerful, unlicensed documentation. Individuals who fail to comply will be arrested and relocated to designated off owner locations. Safety is the primary concern, especially in the wake of the Anomaly detected. Trace access granted. Functioning augmentation. Opponents of the legislation have been protesting all over the world, and many of the protests have turned violent. This escalation in the violence and rhetoric has only widened the gap and polarized the dialogue on both sides of the issue. We will be watching the UN protests. I'm always telling you, Vado, people in all countries are more genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely, that is what... Rest. Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vado. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. Who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, no doubt there are other things about me. 
I think you owe me the same courtesy. I know this. You're clearly an intelligent man. I doubt if there's anything about me you haven't already figured out. Obviously, I'm here on behalf of Vaclav Kohler. He's waiting for a shipment from you. I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. The only thing I've learned about you so far is that you don't understand the first rule of good relations. They begin with mutual respect. As for Kohler, there was no misunderstanding. He wanted the Calibrator, and I refused. The same as I am doing to you. But this is why I do not like dealing with Pogs, Vano. Bad business. Kohler must be desperate to send someone like him. Or maybe he just doesn't like getting screwed over by double-dealing businessmen. I know. Why is he still here? Mr. Botkovelli would like you to leave now. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Get over there.
You're Otar? I am Mr. Mr. Botcovelli, yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you here? Person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create uh, problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, no doubt are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I'm with Interpol. But I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Prague. Kohler must want this item very much to send someone like you. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, he cannot have the calibrator, and you can't either. Dealing with Oggs is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. Kohler didn't send me. I volunteered after he explained his situation. Sounded like he can use a little help. The truth is, though, I'm doing this for me. I need some repairs done, and Kohler needs the Calibrator to do them. Do you believe this, Madvano? Such commitment to honesty. But now I wonder about your commitment to other people. But tell me, Mr. Friendship, how far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? If someone needs my help, I give it, any way I can. <laughs> it is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, man. Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? Ah, don't worry. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, Mr... Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs, in my office, you will find Kohler's Calibrator. I will be in touch.
not to settle. These are the greatest concerns. Why are you still here? Upstairs, I said. Неси свои деньги в другое место. Я с такими как ты дел не веду. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great. I'm going to pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Don't waste my time.
Trace program initiated. Access granted. American and Uyobok. That's two strikes right there. Really? Just like that. like you hanging around us. What do you mean you think he'd make a better capo? Mr. Nicolazzi, he is a great man. This family, it is where it is because of him. Of course, what do you expect? The Diwali family has lost a lot of respect in the last few years. Ah, what do you know of anything? Granted. Access granted. Nice gear you've got here. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. Gonna have to disappoint you. Maybe you can make it up to me. You look like the kind of man who might have access to breach soft. That stuff's illegal. Come on, man, don't play around. You know why it's illegal. You... Sure. Great, go ahead. That's awesome. Uh, 
back to refresh. Nothing for me. Don't wait for planned obsolescence. Underground websites and radio stations continue to pray for the jumper. The shopkeeper was late. Hey. You. Stop. Identification like a second back in time. Even the owner is an antique. I did go okay. You're good to go. Thank you. You are going to die when you see my new remote. Okay. My goodness. This whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
Co jsi sakra zač? Nějaký chodící detektor lži nebo co? Já s tím neměl nic společný, o ty kreténe. Můžeš mě zvlátit, mohlit hladem, to je fuk. Pravdu nezměníš. Somewhere in this city, there's a mob-owned casino in the sewer. Now I've heard everything. has a shrink now. Yeah. Next thing you know, after having a shrink, we'll have to talk to some book for our minor experience in the field about our pain and a lot of our own experience. Gosh, she won't direct the Miller's bank roll. He didn't come for me, but he did. Adam, you're here. You made it in. It's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria, yeah. It was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm all right. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now and meeting with Lyon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. Copy that. Sorry, Adam, I can't really talk right now. Very good paperwork here. Last night, the collective published attack returns. It may be some very interesting reaction would be great. But they're never going to be the time to broadcast that sweatshop. Ah, the elusive Radich Nicolazzi. This guy's a piece of work, driven and ruthless. When he came up, he was the youngest boss in the Diwali crime family. The man spends more money on suits than most people spend on their houses. But don't let the looks in the haute couture fool you. He's the boss, he's in control, and he squashed more than a few people who've tried to take him down along the way. Otar Botcavelli. This guy's a classic. They don't make many like him anymore. Sharp mind, a real businessman. One of those gangsters who thinks that crime is a necessary evil, no? If it's gonna happen, he's there to make sure people have respect and make good money. Good business. I'd love to get a look at the bomb site myself, but... The classic Diwali structure has two spies, or pachans, working for the lieutenant who report directly to the boss, to make sure he stays the boss. Those guys are pretty violent. Oh, here we go. You think the Diwali crime family. As you may already know, they're one of the largest crime syndicates in Eastern Europe, but they do business almost everywhere, from Northern Europe all the way to the Middle East. After their humble beginnings in a coastal town in Georgia, the Diwali quickly moved from gambling to more lucrative criminal enterprises until they found their specialty, smuggling, which includes human trafficking, too. 
The Diwali can get anything to anywhere. It's as, it's as if borders just don't exist to them. But their rapid expansion came at the cost of their Georgian purity when they started incorporating an ever-increasing number of Russians into the group. If you ask me, I think a major power struggle is coming within the Diwali. One of the old versus the new. The past versus the future. Is it not a probable target? Singh's got some kind of adrenaline addiction. He plays it too close to the edge. He made it out of the box. I'm telling you, if it had been anyone but Jensen out there, Singh would be dead. Granted. Granted. The whisper chip is in. Where it's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam, is Miller in there right now? Shit, gotta go. Jensen, I need to see you now. Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out, then. The problem with your orbs is gone. 
I took care of it. Good, good. God knows, with all that's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. The boss is giving you trouble. What? Ah, oh, that. No, the trouble state police. They're pushing us out of the Razika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not Dubai? Forget Dubai. MacReady's handling it. Good. Thought I'd have to fight him to let me handle this one. Whoever planted those bombs yesterday has a lot to answer for. Agreed. And we have to find out who they are before the state police fuck up our crime scene. You said they're trying to push us out? I sent Fletcher in this morning to oversee evidence collection. Seems he's being detained because he hasn't checked in since. They can't lock us out. The Czech Republic signed our UN mandate agreement. They gave us jurisdiction over terrorist investigations. Yeah, well, the former director of their security information services runs state police now. He's come up with a loophole, claiming this attack falls under the homegrown terror exemption. Homegrown? He's saying it's ARC? The Augmented Rights Coalition? I don't care what he's saying. He may even be right. So where do I start? Technically, you're supposed to speak to our psychologist before getting back into action. I don't need a shrink. Convenient, because she's not in the office right now, and I don't want to waste any more time. So how do I get to Rizika? Public transportation's not stopping there. It will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Good luck, Agent. Get anything from the whisper chip? We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's gonna take some time. Take my advice. If you were thinking about the metro perfect hold it clank let me see your permit and be quick about it i'm sure you'll find everything in order officer 
What's the matter, eh? I'm holding you up from some important, uh... This is a BH-847. Is that what it is? Sounds impressive. Are you going to be a problem? Eyes to yourself. Hmm. You are cleared through this checkpoint. Go about your business. Perfect timing. Chang says your private chariot will arrive any time you call up Razika Station on the map. Chang. You had him hack into Prague's public transit Prague. company so I can get to Razika? Plan A wasn't working. Jensen, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Miller sent me to find you. Thought you might have run into trouble. He said that? Did he use those exact words? Because it's not my fault! What happened, Smiley? One minute I'm in there running the show, and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence. Me! Can you believe that? I would never do that, Adam. Never! It's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accused me of tampering with evidence. They're probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there, something big, something that could just blow this case wide open. I just, I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and grab it for me? So what am I looking at in there? It's a blast site. There's debris everywhere, and plenty of cops, too. Once you get past the turnstiles and security offices, you should have a clean path to the tourist office where they have the scan. They don't see you. How many cops are inside? I don't know. Several. They all had guns, so I didn't stop and count them all. There's at least one guy in an exosuit, and my guess is they'll shoot first and bury the bodies later. What do you think is on this scan? It's evidence, Jensen. A 3D mass spectrometer scan of the explosion site. And? And, if I had one more minute in there, I'd have it with me right now, and I could find out. But the fact that they don't want me to see it makes me want to see it even more. I'm sure it's important. We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. But you won't be able to just walk in there and ask them for it, since you're Interpol and, you know, augmented. After yesterday's attack, they're not exactly fans of the, uh, hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency, or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get out of your way, head back to HQ. Good luck, and, uh, uh, let's not tell Miller about this one. Okay? Right. We might as well head back. There's no getting through that way. What? This area is restricted to civilians. I'm with Task Force 29. Thought maybe I could take a look around. You thought wrong. This is a local investigation. You Task Force guys can go swing your dick someplace else. That's fine, forget it. Done. Bye. One less hands are faster to worry about.
request granted. You mind? I was already late for work. Now I have to walk across town. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated.
this area. I'm with. Take a step back. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. I think I saw something over there.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. Access granted.
sure you want to be doing this? Granted. Access granted. Anyone here the right thing? Someone help me! Help me, god damn it!
What's that noise? No, please stay away. Smiley, I've got the scan. Yeah? to my office and we'll see if I'm right. Copy that.
Zasraný auk ve vagónu pro naturály. Chcete snad vyvolat paniku? Ukažte mi papíry. Dělejte nebo vás seberu. I don't have time to waste with this. Make it fast. Vemte si je a vypadněte. Až příště pojedete metrem, použijte vagón pro augy. Máme svých problémů dost i bez takových potížistů jako jste vy. What the hell did you do, Jensen? State police are saying another augmented terrorist just hit them at the train station. They were interfering with evidence collection. Fucking A. Now I'm ordering you to see our psychologist. Ozen's in the office the waiting for you. Copy that. Have to meet Smiley there anyway. We'll do it fast. Because Cheng found us a new lead in the case. In telecam footage, fingering arc. It's gonna put you inside Gollum City. Adam, I finally decrypted the audio off the Whisper chip tap. Fucking cold, man. You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Daphne district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but... Being there must have... Is that what this is about? No. That was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. Are you asking me or telling me? Which would you prefer? Not everyone's as familiar with US history as you Americans would like to believe, you know. Where are you from, Doc? We're discussing your file, remember? So, it was David Seraph who had you augmented after anti og extremists attacked the company? I may not have chosen to be augmented, Doctor, but I'm alive today because of it. And living in a world where people fear and hate the augmented. You know in the eyes of society you've become the enemy, Adam. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. 
Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? This isn't about Augs versus Naturals, Zalara. This is about terrorism. And in my book, there's no excuse for the taking of innocent lives, no matter the reason. So if Talus Wrecker ordered his people to do this, then... It's my job to bring him in, not to judge whether he's guilty or innocent. Well, look, I think it's safe to say that you have all your faculties about you. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Augs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. We've been working together for a few months now. Still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama, and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? 
A friend of Janus's. Someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating this city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague? The break-in at Vessel Life? And Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. I agree, it doesn't look good. He's pulled me off Dubai, put me on the train station bombing. I think he's about to send me to Gollum City. The Udalek complex? <laughs> You're not gonna like it there. It was built by the Santo Group as temporary housing for transient workers. But now... Now it's home to every unlicensed dog in the Czech Republic. And it's where Ark's made its headquarters. Shit, man. What are they planning? We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for breaking? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Jensen, it's Smiley. Where are you? I need that scan. On my way. Hurry up. I want to get the guys who did this. Drop it. No one cares. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left? Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? It's like you said, they shot first, so I took care of it. 
Oh, uh, okay. Good. They had it coming. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole Ark did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it it'll take hours to sift through the data. A and I'm seeing Sonya later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I... when I find something. You do that. Take it easy. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him... Tell him it's just... It's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen. Or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up in telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station. You don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. All right, you have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Hall Avenue, just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day, probably walks in. You're kidding. See, you feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment, access the computer they use, and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. Time for a walk. Hey, are you interested in clean guns for a good price? Come on in, weapons for sale. Making headlines around the world. Here are our top stories. You have credits? Usually you be. No, you got a real way with people.
Make up your mind. Not interested. That will keep them satisfied. Open documents. Causing several Fortune 500 companies to go bankrupt. Fuck. This is going to be trouble. Get Yuri on it. Tell him I said to go ahead. Yeah. Fine. Really are a freak. They look good in the window, but get them alone in a room. Rather keep all my parts, thanks. Ah, of course. Good. I gave the police a list of all the renters in my building as I suspect of being augmented. What did you do that for? I'm protecting the real people in the building. Some of my list are a few months late with their rent anyway. Access granted. Initiated. Access granted. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Samizdat. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? I'm not sure. They're hiding somewhere in the sewers, in the Dovni district. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down me. just yet.
Nothing to see us here. I don't like you, Mrs. Africa. I'm afraid of what might happen. Candlelight vigil next Monday in front of Telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. Calls for the removal and downgrading of Why do they always pick me? Go away. Initiated. Access granted. Impact story. Then segue in. Don't shoot. Shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base. The, the, the clones, the, the clones on the moon base, who won't send to you. I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. The freedom of information is a collective right, man, and the, and the collective responsibility. With that said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. All right, we can start with that if you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But we don't have to start with that, do we? <laughs> How about we skip being courageous and move on to why I'm here? Hey, I'm not the one of the problem here, man. So you say whatever you came to say. I'm not listening. It's what I do. Close my eyes and listen to the whispers in the dark. What do you know about Praha Dogos? Well, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? 
Two men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's death is a media uprising, while Pike is... So you print pamphlets. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting... What did you mean with... Kate? <laughs> right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sammy's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about. Depends on the deal. I need you to stop looking into Brahadovos. But not for the reasons you assume. Relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. Kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> Right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. to something that's even bigger than you imagine, bigger than you can handle. Pull the trigger on it too early and you'll lose it forever. Yeah, or I sit on it too long and then I lose it anyway. I, I don't know. You always have to keep digging. The, the truth, the real truth, it's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Whatever the cost, is that it? You want to be better than Pikus, right? So what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Braha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Praha Dovos. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. 
journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. All right, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archive. Corporate archiving, huh? I'm not... Chang, there. What do you got for me? Took care of Sam as dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts? I know what I'm doing. this shift. Excuse me, sir. If you have any questions, the receptionist will be able to help you. They were affiliated with Bell Tower, yeah? Allow me to finish with this gentleman, sir. They were affiliated with Bell Tower, yes? Please see the receptionist. Formerly, <clears throat> yes, but so were most security companies before the incident. Why don't I schedule a meeting for you with our accounts manager? He can answer all your concerns and start the application process. Hmm, yes. Why don't we do that? <laughs> Thank you. A pleasure, sir. Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts, exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense, but security is a major concern for your clients. Oh yes, everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Abs so, this is a data haven? Well... <laughs> we don't use that. Or government subpoenas. So, th mm -hmm. your executive safes are available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our safes are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. 
It is. But with the same high security standards, I hope. That's all. It's a little... I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Thanks for the information. Sir, this is a restricted area. Initiated. Welcome back, sir. How may I help you? Do you have any more questions? I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Thanks for the information. Initiated. Welcome to Palisade. We get few augmented clients or visitors, sir. Sorry, sir. Area is off limits. Are you part of the security force at Palisade? I'm sorry, sir. The VIP vaults are only accessed by appointment, and there are no appointments scheduled. You need an appointment to access your own vault? For the corporate vaults, yes. This allows time for preloading your container into the viewing area. You also need your personalized keycard. Thanks for the information. Authorization is required to access this area, sir.
Don't you just love the service Palisade provides? Ex Exclusive. That's what I like. Treat me like I'm special. Whatsoever. Pardon me? Do you mind? Oh, no worries whatsoever. The whole building exudes a sense of, of fortification. You know what I mean? Holy Absolutely. Sir, I've had my and my company's valuable success. Pally says first open the door. And my the confidence in the Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Hmm. You certainly look capable of handling yourself. A shame they don't hire augmented security anymore. I'm the executive officer in charge of security for an entire multinational conglomerate. You do not want to get in my face. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Welcome back, sir. How may I help you? Do you have any more questions? I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Thanks for the information. Sir? Sir? Welcome to the Palisade Property Bank, sir. The lobby is open for so visiting. the bank doesn't store money or gold or anything, it only stores data? That's right. Any form of data. 